Hello friends, we are the students of Vishveshwaraya National Institute of Technology, Nagpur. I am Vaishnavi Murugar and Manasvi Ladha. I am Ashita Kumpare and our project is Accident Detection and Emergency Health System. 18 road accident deaths occur every hour due to the missing emergency help. So, we have tried to build a device which can be fitted in any vehicle and made it compact and cost effective as far as possible. In this way, as engineers, we have made an attempt to provide a helping hand in one of the worst causes of fatalities. Initially, we mounted our prototype on a bicycle and tested it on a speed breaker. The resulting acceleration values were plotted in our Android app using Bluetooth and the conclusion was that accident was not detected. Secondly, we have demonstrated a head-on collision and again the acceleration values were plotted. This time, accident was detected. Through this practical demonstration, we can differentiate between an accident and the inconsistencies on road and thus we can set the threshold for accelerometer using these ratings. For the accident detection part of our system, we have used the MPU9150 accelerometer which is present on the sensor hub booster pack module. Using this accelerometer, we can detect an accident. As we couldn't go about crashing cars, we have demonstrated our system on a bicycle. Accordingly, we tabulated our results so that we could differentiate between a crash or any sudden change due to inconsistency on the road like speed breaker. We have set the threshold values of acceleration of accelerometer based on our demonstration on a bicycle. Recent values of X, Y, Z axis acceleration of the car is stored in EEPROM. If the accident is detected, GPS will forward coordinates of location to launch pad to send message to relatives and control room. This is a GPS module. The GPS module continuously fetches the location of the car. This USB GPS module is built using the MT3329 chipset. It comes with a patch antenna. As soon as the accident occurs, it provides the location of that very place to the launch pad. The launch pad in turn sends the present location of car to relatives and control room using GSM SIM 900A module which uses a basic SIM. The GSM module works on 5V but the TIVA launch pad uses 3.3V. So here we use a logic level converter to make it compatible for the transmission and reception. If accident took place but the occupants are safe, a switch can be pressed by them and then we are safe, message is sent to the concerned authorities. The GPS module sends the coordinates of the location via GSM. It also sends a relaxed message when no accident occurs. To get accident data, we first need to forward data stored in TIVA launch pad to Bluetooth HC05 module to send it to a paired mobile phone. For the same, we are using TX and RX pins of TIVA launch pad and HC05 module. Once the complete data is sent to mobile phone, it will make a blueterm.log file in its internal memory and further, our Android application will plot the graph of acceleration versus time. We are sending the data stored in EEPROM memory of TIVA launchpad to mobile phone via Bluetooth to create a .log extension file. Now we are plotting the graph of accident data using the same .log extension file. Acceleration of x-axis is shown in blue, of y in yellow and z-axis in red color.